tastes good on the bun. Tastes good on the bun. Tastes. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Horribly Off Topic. I'm Steve, and with me is Chris. As always. <laughs> this is episode 45. Yes. 45. Yeah. I don't, in, is there anything funny about that? I don't, no, no. <laughs> there's nothing funny about 45. Oh, that. Record. I mean, you're halfway. If you're if you're in your 40s, 45 is when you're halfway to 50. And I suppose there's something profound about that. If if you really no, there's not. There's nothing funny about 45. Well, you could talk about 45 records. 45. That's true. But that's not necessarily funny. That might be interesting. That might be interesting. My dad used to have a lot of 45s. In fact, I think he still does. I think they're downstairs in the garage, which yeah. is another funny story because it's not really a garage. Yeah, it's sort of like, well, it's 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 it has the makeup of a garage. It has the makeup of a garage, but it, once upon a time it was a garage. Oh, but then they added the uh, the top floor here, and when they added the stairs to come to the top floor, I think it was when they added the stairs, something to do with that meant that the... Um, the door that would have been the garage door to get the car into the garage? Yes, uh, was, was, a, was obstructed, and therefore you could only get the nose of a car into the garage. Yes, yeah, so that would be no point. Yes. So when you first met my brother and I, uh, my brother and me... When you first met us, uh, there probably was a garage door there, but shortly thereafter, uh, it was sided over. Yeah, I don't, the, I don't remember that because I was probably like five or six years. Yeah, old. you might have been, you might have <laughs> been five or six, something like that. Yeah, yeah and so it didn't. Uh, but yeah, what forty fives? They had that little yellow disc, right in the middle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You had to use that to play the record, and you had to switch. The uh, the the r- rotations per minute or yes. whatever. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, you did. And so, or else you ended up. Wait, no. Uh, you would end up with something that sounded very creepy if you played a forty-five at thirty-three speed. You would. Would, up, would it sound like a chipmunk or would it sound? No, like I think it would be the reverse because the thirty-three is. <laughs> yeah. Whereas if you put a regular 33 uh, and a third inch record on there, you, you put it at 45 speed, that's when you get That's chipmunks. when you get chipmunks, okay. Yeah. I had a chipmunks record when I was a kid. Just one? Yeah, just one. Just one. Was it the Christmas one? It was the Christmas one. Yeah. But putting that on the 45 speed, it just was <laughs> like ridiculous. And also I had, a, I had a Smurfs record, which was pretty much the same but, idea. Yeah. They're like, hey... The chipmunks did this, but we have like these Smurfs that have these high pitched voices, and so we'll do the same thing with like you know. Did the Snorks have the same voices as the as the um, as the Smurfs? Are you familiar with the Snorks? I know what I know what the Snorks are. They were basically the underwater Smurfs. Were, yeah, yeah, they were the Smurfs that Gargamel drowned. You know, he put them in the river. And they grew. Uh, they grew stuff. Well, because they had like they had a thing coming out of the top of their head, which yeah. helped them breathe. I think so. I guess it was like gills for them. Some, like it didn't like make that. any sense because they didn't have gills or anything. So right, they, but they had this thing that just like would occasionally shoot air out of the top of it. Yeah. So, so they, well, or or, or CO two, whatever it was. Yeah, whatever they were expelling came out of their head. Yeah, but, and I don't know, what, like because they had mouths. They did. Did they did uh, do we see bubbles when they spoke? I can't remember if we saw. Bubbles I don't when think they it spoke. <laughs> Look, you want to like find an episode, watch <laughs> find it, an episode we'll of pause it, we'll go back. Well, we, we did some research, actually, <laughs> and they didn't blow bubbles when they talked. So I guess they were just underwater creatures. Yeah, I guess. With, I guess. with uh, Well, I, no, I think that the snorks, basically, because it looked like a snorkel with the thing coming out of their heads. I never I never realized that. Thank you for Fuck explaining. Fuck you. <laughs> um, Don't even try with me today. The... the uh, the 80s cartoons, just a, a strange phenomenon. Have you ever watched, um, it was YouTube, I think they made a series of them. It was called 80s Cartoon Intro Overload. And I will try to put it in the show notes for the episode. Okay, so when, when I look back at, at the show, because I always read the show notes when, yeah. when, you, when, uh, when you post it. The, um, it was uh, some of the stuff that we watched as kids, like just absolutely absurd. No, but I don't think it was just. I mean, some of it was great. I, but a I, lot of it was absurd. I think the problem was like when we were really young, like in the like uh, mid or early to mid eighties. Yeah, 
was was a lot of just like cartoons that were hey, we have this thing and here's a toy you can buy. I mean, they still do it today. They do still do it today, but it that was that was the height of it. But yeah, that was just like there there would be like <laughs> I remember and I'm <laughs> You're going to be drinking early. <laughs> There's an episode early on in One Piece that, uh, Frank, uh, not early on. I mean, it's probably about 50 something episodes in, but like, they're, like they're, they're in, they're in this town <laughs> yeah. and all of a sudden, like the, the Marine captain that's after them has this like motorcycle and I'm like, what's going on? And then one of the characters turns into a race car. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, are they like trying to market like toys? Like, yeah. Like a motorcycle driving smoker and like buggy. For something the, like that. The, yeah, yeah. The, the race car. Uh, it's. Um, and I'm like, what's going on here? But like, it, you know, it never really happened again. Yeah. Um, it's, I, I, but like, like, you know, like G.I. Joe was obviously. Yes. To sell the the old. I mean, like what, what before our time, like GI Joes were like, were, were big the big and, guys, yeah. and I'm I'm making motions with my hand of how big they used to be. Oh, they can see that the power of radio. They okay, can, they, so they like can they, see. Well, maybe it was more like a foot. A foot yeah, it was it was about a, it was about a twelve inch. Yeah, <laughs> impressive. <laughs> <laughs> but then when we were kids, we had these yeah. little dinky little maybe three or four inch little plastic guys. I still have one. I have Roadblock. Oh, really? Okay. I don't I I was not a GI Joe person. In fact, neither was my brother. So neither of us really had GI Joes. I was Transformers and he was He-Man. I, I had was... some He-Man stuff. I had like, I had like one or two Transformers. Uh our friend of the show Leo is very mm. much into Transformers ah. and uh if we uh if we ever get another person that is uh, on the show, we we should just let them go hog wild on talking about Transformers. On Transformers, yeah, I was I was huge uh, into into Transformers as a kid, and it was. I mean, that's why I have the strong. Well, maybe reactions. maybe we should have him back on to do the Transformers the, cast. The Transformers cast, and with, I'll moderate. With me. It. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, that's why why I was so bummed out by uh, by the Michael Bay movies. Not that I expected a lot, but. Uh, but that's why I trash on them so much is because I really did love Transformers as a kid so much so that I was made fun of on the Westland School playground. Uh, why? Because you had Transformers on like... Well, I th- there was one summer where apparently Transformers became uncool over the course of the summer and I came back. I did not get the memo that Transformers were no was longer Was it when the cool. Dinobots came out? Uh, no, I, I get the feeling people like dug the Dino Dots. Dino Dots. Dino Dots. Dino Dots. <laughs> um, my, friend, uh, my friend John who uh, uh, I host the the Generation Goat uh, podcast with when it when it comes out every three or four years. Yeah, um, John always wanted a Dinobot and never got one. Well, they and were bigger and probably more expensive. They, they yeah, they might have been more expensive as, as a sort of premium thing, but the ones I have are about the same size as uh, as everyone else. Can, can you do your best impression of like a transformer transforming? <laughs> oh, wait, uh, you're putting me on a spot. Uh, yeah, totally. No, I mean I used to be able to. Come I can try it. I, 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 just like you know, <laughs> just do it in. The I I now a performance anxiety. Yeah. Uh, can't get it up while you do this. <laughs> What's this like? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds just like it. It's like there was a giant transforming robot sitting right next to us in the room. It is uncanny, I dude. I can't believe you made me do that. <laughs> you were blushing. Because <laughs> I'm imagining the email I'm going to get now. That was just, no. I hope it's Leo. It's like, <laughs> Leo's like, Steve is right. You did a really great job. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I dug the Transformers, uh, I did get a couple of GoBots in my time, which was a total Fuck fucking GoBots. insult. I, I um, definitely got GoBots, because, like, you know, parents don't know. Yeah. They're like, oh, it's no, a Transformers. My parents knew. My parents were great. It was, like, from an extended family person ah. that, that gave me the GoBots. And, in fact, even my extended family was great. There was one, uh, there was one Christmas, um, where my, it turned out that my parents and my aunt April, not aunt, my cousin April, uh, I think it was April. Both got me the same one, but but she like went in. They were really and, cool GoBots. Yeah, no, it was it was a Transformer. Was oh. a, so I mean, they were, uh, they were generally uh, really good about it. But I did also get. Um, I don't know if you ever got this with GI Joe or anything, but like the the CVS brand 
uh, of whatever it was. So, yeah. like, I got, like, the CVS brand Transformer once, like, the really knockoff. Not even a GoBot. The Go one that Bot, just, like, like, fell apart, like, like, when you took it out of the package. Yeah, like, like two levels below GoBot, I got those. Um, uh, and was, I know there were ones for G.I. Joe. Yeah, you, of course, like, you know, you know the, the PSAs for G.I. Joe. I do right? remember. They are the, the, they're etched in my memory. G.I. or... And knowing is half the yeah, battle. And then it was G.I. <laughs> Joe. And, uh... We, uh, me, and and uh, another John went mm. to see the the first of the GI Joe movies that yes. came out. Now that was uh, was that the first time that a GI Joe that that somebody actually died in a GI Joe cartoon? I don't, it wasn't a cartoon. It was a movie. It was a oh, live oh, action live action movie. movie. I thought this you were was recently. About okay, well, not recently. This was probably like six, seven, maybe eight years ago at yep. this point. Um, so we went, we went to the theater. We went to the midnight showing because we we're like, what else are we gonna do? We were, we were bored. <laughs> So we went to the, the Solomon Pond Mall, getting yep. local for you in Marlboro, Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, we went to see that movie. And at the end of the movie, everybody in that theater was expecting to have some sort of like PSA. Be like, don't get your hand chopped off or whatever. <laughs> Something. Some yeah. sort of nonsense. And then the credits roll. And then it goes to that thing where it shows the rating of the movie. And then it's yeah. over. And a dude in the back of the theater goes, fuck you. (laughs) And we we all, as he should, we all just laughed because we all felt the same way. We're like, we just, we just saw that shitty movie and we waited through the credits just so we could see the PSA that they didn't do. Yeah. You fucks. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I, so speak, speaking of Michael Bay, because it's a Michael Bay movie. Right? I, have, I have another thing to talk uh, about as far as the uh, uh, about the PSAs. There was yeah. this guy that uh, that redubbed them a number of years ago. I think I might have. Seen and this that. was like pre YouTube, so mm-hmm. like you had to go to like a weird website. But yeah. I think they're on. They're all on YouTube now. And they, like it was like Fensler was the guy who did them. Yeah, or something. And. Uh, was it like the re- that's the reason why I got Roadblock because I bought it as an adult. I didn't. <laughs> okay, it's not one that was sticking around since childhood. Yeah, no, it, it was just one that I saw. Oh, I'm like Roadblock. So the one with Roadblock, the PSA, it was like there was the down power line, mm-hmm. and then the kids were like, "Oh, let's jump our bikes over," and he's like, "No, don't do that. You could get electrocuted. Be careful." You know? Yeah, and then instead of that, like. <laughs> The, the two kids are standing, uh, they're on their bikes and they're like, oh, look at that. Let's launch over it. <laughs> and then Roadblock shows up and he's like, who wants a body massage? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's got the, this like these tongs that are picking up the wire and he's just humming. He's like, mm-hmm, Mr. Body Massage Machine. And he throws the wire and goes, go. <laughs> And then the kids are like, what the hell? And he's like, body massage. <laughs> Knowing is half the battle. Um, so what I was going to say about Michael Bay, so I, I was watching, um, uh, I was home with uh, Melody. My younger daughter was home with me today. And so I had to find something I could watch. Not important. I ended up watching Armageddon. Armageddon was on HBO Go. So it wasn't I, Armageddon on. <laughs> It, don't watch pornos with your but, children. It's a but, PSA from us. Do not watch porno, pornographic material when you have a, uh, a five-year-old. Five, five-year-old in, yes. in the room. No, don't. Uh, in fact, she went upstairs when I started watching Armageddon anyways, which negated the point of me watching Armageddon. I could have watched whatever the hell I wanted. At any rate, um, Michael Bay, Transformers, G.I. Joe, my point was that at a certain point... It Did he do feel- Armageddon? I think he was Armageddon. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, I don't. I, I don't think I ever saw it. It's it it in its entirety. Yeah. I, it's it's. I mean, it was all right for this afternoon when I was kind of just uh, kicking around. The, Wasn't the, Steve Buscemi in it? He, he Steve Buscemi is in it, and he's he plays a, a crazy person. Cool. Um, or he he kind of gets uh, space craziness uh, at the end. Um. But the, in terms of Michael Bay, it seems like, you know, that he just wanted to make another Michael Bay movie or four or however many it is at this point or six when you add in the G.I. Joes. Like he could have just made his own original goddamn movie and not taken these Hasbro properties like that. They just slapped their name on them and they were just generic because uh, there's to your point about there not being a PSA at the end. 
I mean, it's the same thing about the Transformers is there's none of the spirit of the Transformers in those Michael Bay movies in the same way that there's none of the spirit of G.I. Joe in uh, in those two. I think they the, the, I think they, in, they did it in one of the more recent ones. Yeah, I'm not sure because I didn't see them because that first one was like the literally s- I said, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. The second one I heard was better. I watched a little bit of it and it did have a little bit more of that feel. Is that the one with Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Yes. Um, but that's the thing is that then you kind of like stunt cast um, Dwayne Johnson and it, like, all right, fine. Now, now it's a movie about the rock. Uh, and I think they spoilers. I think they killed off a bunch of the cast from the original uh, those guys only show up for like the first 20 minutes of the second movie. And then, it Oh, is it? Cause becomes, it was like GA Joe retaliation. Cause yeah. they're getting back at Cobra. Yeah. But Cobra gets back at them first. Cause if you remember from the end of the first one, uh, what's his ass, uh, had taken over and, and was, uh, was disguised as the president. Cobra commander. No, it was, uh, is it Destro or is it, is Destro um, the one with the gold head? No. So it wasn't Destro. It was, um, because Destro is in it, he yeah, I think Destro is the one with the gold or the silver head. And then there's a dude who imagine something. getting that upside you. Ugh, I don't want to imagine it. Imagine it get it inside you. That's what I meant. Oh, I thought you were setting me up for the for the funny, and I just ruined the funny. You, know, you said upside, I got to say inside. I was like, ooh, Steve gave me a joke. No, it's, no such luck. It's like when my grandfather used to when you when you would be speaking nonsense, he would say, "What are you selling?" What are you selling? Cuckies. That's another thing that grandpas say. Oh, right? speaking of which. <laughs> so okay. uh, I ended up being a little bit late to, to arrive because I wanted to go home. I thought you said it wasn't because you needed to go cuckies. I, it had to do with cuckies, <laughs> okay. but I didn't shit my pants. Okay. I, that's what I said. Uh, so, yeah, I... I, I I hate shitting at work. It's not something I like to do. Mm-hmm. And today was no exception to why, or basically why I hate shitting at work. Because like usually in the morning I have a nice BM. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like just talking about my shit. <laughs> I might as well just fart into the microphone for another forty minutes to be sure. Like, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. So I, yeah, I, 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 I usually have a nice BM in the morning and then I'm good. But then sometimes there's like a bonus round, like uh, midway through the day. And I'm like, what's going on? God damn it. And, and yeah. sometimes like today, it'll be like, you know, the, you know, the spatulas that you, you would use to frost something, not like a, a flip a burger spatula. I, but I the do. Other, know, yep. The mm-hmm. rubber spatula. I do. Okay. So it's like someone had a big glob of frosting and mm-hmm. just kind of slid it into my ass crack. And that's where the poo stayed, even after it came out of my butt. Ooh, fun. So basically, it was just like I had to wipe frosting off my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and it took forever. And I was at the end, I was just like, oh, it just hurts to wipe. And I'm like, I wish I had some baby wipes or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Or, Although, I, in my experience, uh, the baby wipes, especially after you have... Because I've had two children, so there were times at which there were baby wipes around. Mm-hmm. And so I'd have that kind of uh, of, of, uh, of a movement, uh, as my grandmother would have put it. Um, and the... You know, so I'd wipe and I'd be like, "Oh man, I think a baby wipe would just be just just the just the ticket right here." And and I would I would wipe and because it's be got a little Bernie, <laughs> yeah, because it's got a little bit of like uh, cl- cleaner stuff on it. Yeah, if if you were raw at all, the yeah. baby wipe turned out to be a terrible idea. Yeah, but you know, it's, you're cleaning things out down there. So I wanted to just go home. I just felt gross. Yeah, and I went home and I kind of gave myself a. a a quick uh, lower half shower, you know. Got it, got it, got to it. get the the stink off. You yeah, know? yeah. I mean, it's important. I I appreciate it. You know, I'm I'm no. Pretty- I mean, I didn't do it on your behalf. I did it for my own comfort. But it, you did it for the podcast. I listeners. did it for the like. They don't want to be smelling like my stinky bum. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> So what the fuck were you talking about before uh, I brought up? I, I I think I was done. I thought oh. I thought that was a pretty pretty uh, well done transition, and I thought we were just moving on. So okay, no, cool. I, I was just saying uh, that. Uh, yeah, no, I was done. That's what I was saying. Cool. I'm done. Uh, you went to Philadelphia. That was a seamless as well. <laughs> that was like um, when when someone sews something and it looks like there's no seam, but there is. Yeah, that was what that was. That was what that was. You know, Kaylee, my daughter. 
Oh. Speaking of seams. Not some other brought, Kaylee? Not some other Kaylee. Yeah. I mean, I went I went to high school with a Kaylee. Um, and, and I... I just I tangent off of a tangent. Oh fuck! Last night, as we record this, it's it's Thursday as we record this. Uh, last night apparently was the twenty year anniversary of my prom, and apparently, if if somebody calculated this correctly, it was also the twenty. It, it was the 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 current high school class's prom, and we both had our proms at the same places. Wow! And and there was a Kaylee. That was probably at that prom, the the Kaylee that I that I knew as uh, in high school and elementary school and and whatnot. <laughs> My just, daughter Kaylee. I was if you could just see <laughs> the unimpressed look in my face after hearing that story <laughs> or non story. <laughs> I, you know, I actually do. You probably have, all of those, everybody out there listening, probably I, had the same exact look <laughs> on your face when you heard that. You're like, oh, right, huh? I do have fucking stories, and, and you have funny, good stories sometimes, but that I, was not one. That of them. was not one of the, no. I like I have stories about those people, about those nights, and then they only ever come up as transitions into other things because my brain doesn't slow down fast enough. Slow enough doesn't slow down enough. I don't know. We've got to slow down first. Kaylee, my daughter. Speaking of seams, we got into a huge fight the other day. Because she can't deal with the seams in her socks. Like, of all the absurd things I have ever heard a kid complain about, uh, she, the, the, the little, the, the seam by her pinky toe in her socks was driving her insane every time she put on her shoes. So she would put it on. It frustrated her. She'd take the shoe off and throw it across the room. She would try the to readjust. The shoe or the sock? The shoe. And she would try to readjust the sock. She'd put it back on. Threw the shoe again. She turned the sock inside out. Tried it that way. Did it work? No. Oh. And finally, I was like, I, I, I literally, I, I did not, I did not f bomb it, but I was, I screamed. I was like, pick out another pair of damn shoes. And we, we kind of, yeah, we, we didn't have a good morning that morning. But I, it, it, the next couple of days, she just decided not to wear socks. She's I I, I you get a, I think put a little made, baby powder in the shoes so you I, don't get a blister. I don't know. It's it's a goddamn. It's I I underst- I have been annoyed by that same part of a sock, but never to the extent of like throwing shoes across the room. What I, I've been I, I listen to a bunch of other podcasts and whatnot, and uh, what is it? Bombas is the they advertise on those. Hey, Bombas, you could advertise with us too. Hey, I don't know about your damn socks, but apparently they're good. Ah. But like. I, I keep on hearing in the ad copy that they say it's just like oh the you know when the pesky toe seam or whatever I'm like I'm like I don't think I've ever worn socks that had like a toe seam where you would just put your your toe into it. I, yeah, I I don't I don't know. It was it was a big point of contention, but but anyway, that story was not that much more interesting than my previous non story. Yeah, it was, so, there was shoe throwing. It was like you know when the pre, like the former President Bush was in uh, the Middle East and someone threw a shoe at his head. Yes, was that Kaylee? <laughs> that was not Kaylee. That was that. <laughs> but maybe that's where she learned it from. I mean, yeah, I she think was she watching might, the news. She like, was watching the news with me when, when she, she was, was a what? baby. Yeah, was she like two years old or whatever the hell it was? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And she was like, "Oh, I can throw shoes. I can throw shoes." The guy probably had a problem with like his toe seam, or whatever. probably that's that's probably what it was. Let's follow the seam back to Philadelphia. The city of brotherly love. The city of brotherly love. Uh, you went there. Yes. So Becky was working down there. She uh, she works for uh, a company that uh, does stuff with books. Mm. And uh, have you told us who Becky is? Yeah, Becky is my uh, my special lady friend. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned. I mean, you mentioned her by by uh, not by, title by by relationship last time. You said you were going with your your uh, special lady friend or yes. uh, but you didn't I'm, do, I'm I'm just, I'm doing the big Lebowski thing where it's just like <laughs> oh it's my she's my special lady man like yeah. leave her alone yeah uh but uh yeah it was you know we it was a long drive and i remember that no matter who i'm driving in a car with for a long period of time i mean i've known your brother yes for 
shit, 30 years now or something, something like, like that. that. Yep. Uh, and um, after a the, the trip up to Montreal, I wanted to strangle. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, like a number of years prior to that, we went to North Carolina. Then I don't know how the hell we didn't murder each other. I That sounds <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Because that's like 15 hours at least. I think it ended up being like 17 or 18. Yeah. Uh, and I drove the entire way down because I was being stubborn. Because mm-hmm. I'm like weird about people driving my car, and I get as nervous, if not more nervous, right? If someone else is driving, than if I'm, so I might as well just drive. Got it. So I don't know. It, I think it's probably a lack of control thing for sure. me. Sure. Yeah. Have no idea. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> it was just a long drive, and you know, there, there wasn't. I wasn't snappy. I don't, at least not too bad. She might mm. say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> She'll send us an, an email. <laughs> like, yeah, it actually, <laughs> he was a little snippy asshole. <laughs> mm. But yeah, so we got there and uh, we uh, um, we checked into the hotel, which was actually really nice. And then we uh, we went to this armory because mm. they had like a, a big brewery set up. So we set up the, the table for the books and whatnot. And the, the two of the authors were there yeah, uh, for the, for the, to sign books and to sell them there or whatever. But it was also, you know, one of those giant, you know, beer fests or whatever. They give you like a little, it's, it's sort of like twice the size of a, of a oh, shot no, glass a shot. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe uh, two times that because like, like they have a line in the middle that's about two ounces, so if you fill it all the way up, it's maybe three or four ounces. Yeah. So you you walk around, you say, "Hey, can I?" Because usually each each brewery that's there has like one or two beers. You're just like, "Hey, can I get that one?" And they're like, "Sure, cheers!" And then you drink it, and then you rinse it out a little bit with the water that they have in little pitchers, and then you mm. kind of dump it in a bucket, and then you go around to the next thing, and you say, "Okay, I have this one," and then. So basically, it was a lot of me doing that and occasionally walking back over to the table being like, hey, how's you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm slightly more hammered than I was the last time I came over. And then, uh, yeah. Which has got to be amusing for them. Yeah. And, and that, was, that was most of that first evening. And then we did it all again the next day. So we had to get up like pretty early. We went to uh, uh, a bagel shop. Mm-hmm. It was like... Uh, very very hipstery bagel place, but they they did a good job and they made a couple of bagels. So they didn't make them there. Well, I don't know. They might have made them they might there. Made they might have baked them in the morning. Who, yeah, who knows? But they definitely toasted them and put cream cheese on them for us, and then we ate them as our breakfast. Yeah, and then we went to the. It was it was an outdoor event the second day. Mm-hmm. It was on, we were under a tent. And then there was more breweries. There was like uh, the first day was a lot of local. Or a lot more local places, and then the second day was was a lot of uh, well, there was still local places there, but it seemed like there was a lot more uh, giant beer corporations and whatnot. Because yeah. I, yeah. I, I noticed Sam Adams was there. I'm like, yeah, you, you know, well they they're technically the original microbrewery. Sure, yeah. Uh, well, not, I don't know. They might be. I think they're advertising. They, they're one of the first that I was aware. Jim, of. Jim Cook and his his inhaling of hops. <laughs> <laughs> broke broke the mold for everyone else and every, every and then you know it wasn't just budweiser and yeah perhaps blue ribbon and P- sh- yeah. schlitz <laughs> what are some other like terrible have things? you seen um the uh it's a it's not quite a poster but it's something downstairs in in my parents garage yeah yeah that that is like an old fashioned pbr sign uh with a can actually embedded uh embedded in it i think i i think i actually searched online for that to see how much it would be worth and i think it was over a hundred dollars so. now now it would it would be or maybe it was 50 bucks i'm not yeah. sure it would be about a hundred dollars worth of tears to get my dad to throw anything in that garage out so i mean <laughs> i mean first you'd have to throw out the dust that is collected over <laughs> it's collected over, it, over it, the yeah. last couple of centuries i think john and i we found centuries. that sorry <laughs> decades <laughs> John and I found, uh, my brother John, that is, uh, found that out in the garage. Uh, we didn't find it, but we re-found it a couple of years ago and shot an Instagram picture of it uh, with the tag OG Hipster. Um, because, it, like, you know, it, it's like an original, it's an original uh, thing in my jury. Was, was PBR present in Philly? No, they weren't. Okay. Uh, but uh, what was it? Um, Yingling the, the, is technically the oldest brewery in the United States. Hmm. They, they of course were there, and uh, and they, they 
I think it was 18 something or other where they started. And then during prohibition, mm. they also made, or they, I think they also produced ice cream. So they just switched all their production areas to just make the ice cream. Interesting. And then, you know, once prohibition was over, they just made beer again. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I mean, I, I wondered, uh, I, I've, I'm, one of the things I've been thinking about writing is a uh, is a piece that takes place at the end of Prohibition. So, uh, like, like that, that's prior to the end, or just or? yeah, just prior to the end. So, like 1933, in the months leading up to uh, when the uh, I don't know if it's when the because I know I think beer was legalized first, and then everything else uh, slightly thereafter, something like that. So um, people wouldn't be making gin in their bathtubs anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, least. my my grandmother uh, told a story that uh, the people who were taking care of her after her parents both passed away, uh, they had a still in their basement, and this still exploded one night uh, oh. in the basement. And my grandmother went uh, to the door of her bedroom to to see what was uh, what was going on. She didn't know what it was. She would have been. Uh, somewhere in her, somewhere around Kaylee's age, so nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, maybe. And name more numbers. <laughs> she went to the door, and just before she walked out her bedroom door, there was a knock at her window, and they said, "You have to come up this way." And it turns out that if she had gone through her door, she would have plummeted down. Uh, I don't know if it was one story or two stories into. The basement. Would she have just immediately walked out the door if she'd opened it up? I, I, the, the, this is the impression that my grandmother gave me in telling this story. It has probably grown a little bit in the, uh, in the telling. Because imagine, like, you know, if you, like an elevator opens up and you're like, oh, there's no elevator in there. It's just a shaft. Yeah. I mean, maybe there was Damn a bit of the hallway. Right. <laughs> Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, uh, it's interesting to hear what that company did. Was it Yingling? Is that what you said? Yingling. Yingling. <laughs> Yingling. <laughs> Yingling. Okay. They're, they're based in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Got it. And they recently, I mean, like, they recently just started selling in, in Massachusetts. Mm. So you couldn't, you couldn't get Yingling outside of, like, states that bordered Pennsylvania for the yeah. longest time. When I, when I lived in North Carolina, that was the beer that I used to get because it was, like, it was a good beer, and it was it was better than like a Budweiser, and yeah. it, was, it was around the same price point. Got it. I, yeah. it's, I, I work for Yingling, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> they should sponsor. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. Um, but yeah, and so uh, we had, we did that, did that, and they had a bunch of food trucks, and then there was uh, a bunch of uh, oh, we had food truck the night before. We had like these uh, pita bread things that were really good. Yeah, and. Uh, and then I, I the the place where we were at the second day was the Navy Yard, which was about a mile away from the the ballpark. Got it. Yeah, baseball station. <laughs> <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. Yes. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I was like, I, I bought my ticket to the game, and and I uh, eventually you know pieced out, and then walked over to the park, and I, you know my my plan was after the game. To take a cab to where the the back to the hotel or the restaurant, depending on what time the game got over. Right. It was uh, it was a pretty long game. I mean, it started mm. at three, didn't get over to like six thirty. It was it was very lightly attended. It's it, it's weird going to a baseball game in an area that's not Boston. Right. Yeah. Because even when the Red Sox are doing shitty, and I'm like, I can remember back in the day, uh, like in the in the nineties, right after the strike, mm-hmm. you couldn't. You couldn't give away tickets to see right. the Red Sox because they, yeah. you know, and around like the mid '90s we weren't doing that great, but like the end of the '90s we started doing started a better, doing, well, we yeah. get, doing playoff stuffs and uh, again, but uh, it was just I remember, <laughs> I remember '97, mm. me and Garen, we got tickets to the Red Sox, yeah, because we upsized our value meal at Wednesday, Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> and we just had to mail in a, a form and, and that they, got you they sent us to the, the tickets. Oh, Jesus. And I remember it being a weeknight game and th- we were in the bleachers and there was no one there. Yeah. There was nobody there. And so we just moved to the front of the bleachers and we were just like, Were there any players that we would know? Uh, back in like, I don't remember. When did... Playing on the team in 97 or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I was to say, like, that was before even Nomar or, or It Pedro might have been or... around the time Nomar started, or if not that, maybe he started the year after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or, I don't know. 
But yeah, so like it it, it harkened back to those days where there was just like where where is everybody? Right. Like I'm I'm used to a, like a park that is. I mean, you're used to going to a park that is, is so full is so like, packed that the party is actually out on the street. Yeah, they have to have like you know areas for people to go and like there's like extensive standing room areas. So yeah. I, I got a pretty decent seats in the bleachers. I got basically the second row. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't apparently need to because I could have probably gotten the shittiest ones in the bleachers. And, and just then, walked. And just walked to the front and been like, is anybody sitting here? Yeah. <laughs> just like sat in my seat for the first two innings. And if no one, if I see a spot that, uh, that I could have gone to, I've just done that. Yeah. If the uh, ushers didn't uh, give me shit for it or anything, right, right, you like, never. I'm know from it. Boston. We do that. Down. Oh, <laughs> you know, you never know if they're gonna if they're gonna be cool or or not cool. Yeah, know, I mean, I was sitting next to some people. Uh, this guy, the guy who was sitting next to me, was a teacher, and he was just uh, was a big Phils fan. Yeah, was he bummed that they they lost? They did right? lose uh, yeah. five to two. Yeah, to the yeah. Colorado Rockies. I think I put the I think I put the results in the show notes. Uh, it's like, how, well, like uh, I, I, you know, I was I'm going to root for the home team unless they yeah. were playing the Sox, which probably might have gotten me like beat up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Actually, you know. no, but like the like the the they're, they're still sore about that Super Bowl down there. Yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> I don't. I didn't bring up freaking. I didn't bring up football. I was. I'm not going to do it. I don't. I don't want to be like ah yeah, stupid balls and uh, how's like, that Donovan McNabb doing? No. Does he still play for the No, I think he's Eags? a com- I think he's a commentator. Oh, okay. So um he like you know there was a guy a couple guys in front of me they were they we were just giving each other shit back and forth but you know in yeah. good gentle good humor. Yeah. Uh and then the uh the Rockies uh hit a, a monster well not a monster because it, you know it's not like it was a pretty impressive. It wasn't moment. at Fenway Park. It wasn't at Fenway Park. If 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 I would have been like where I was sitting would have been like in the Green Monster. Ah, if if if, if it was if, Fenway. If it was Fenway, yeah, yeah. So uh, we so the the ball went over our, our heads and someone yeah. caught it or did, I don't think they caught it. They actually just got the ball and then yeah. they, they threw it back. But then like I think the next inning, uh, one of the players for the Rockies hit a home run and this kid like probably about ten years old. Just kind of like grabbed it out of the air. Oh shit! And you're like, normally everybody in the in the bleachers is gonna scream, throw it back, but this kid made a hell of a snag. So yeah. everybody's like, keep it, because <laughs> you know, yeah, it's, it's fun for a kid to have. Absolutely. A I mean, he, he's ten. He, he by the time, I mean, there's time to brainwash him into believing that that was a home run that the Phillies hit. You know, by yeah. the time he's by the time he's eighteen, no, no, the story no, no, no. Will I be. think I think at ten he's gonna remember that it was the opposing team. Nah, right. But everybody was like supporting him and keeping the ball. Like, so yeah. maybe he'll remember that. It's like, hey, it is the city of brotherly love. Aww. These guys are supporting me in my choice to hold on to this ball because I'm a ten year old kid. Yeah. If it was an adult, I think everybody would have told him to fucking throw it all back <laughs> on the field. <laughs> Try to hit one of those guys. Um, oh no, because at that point he would have been trying to hit one of the Phillies players. But there, there was an almost home run for the Phillies that a dipshit didn't catch, <laughs> and he got he got a lot of crap for the guys sitting around me. <laughs> and I was just like, uh, I was a. Uh, Right behind him, to to like he was he was he wasn't close enough to where we were, right? So that we could shout things at him without like having the usher saying, "Hey, there there are like there are children ten year olds like, yeah. right next to you. Can you not scream the f bomb at that guy? Yeah, <laughs> or the other f bomb, or the other f bomb, or the other f one. Um, yeah, but it was a good time. But I got it. Uh, you can still kind of see it. I got a decent sunburn you on got my a arms. Burn, yeah. Uh, cause I forgot sunscreen and <laughs> when I was at work today, I was just like, what's this on my ear? I'm like, what's going on? And I just kind of just peeled a layer of skin. Ugh, off of it. Yeah. I saved it in a jar for you. Oh, for thank later. you. I, yes. I think <laughs> no, I, I actually rolled it up into a ball and threw it in the trash. Oh, thank you. Good. That, that I actually appreciate more. The, Instead but, of it being on something, it's in the garbage. Yes. Yes. Cause that's what it is. Yeah. Well, you know, you're, you're shedding skin cells. I constantly. know. I know. I just don't think about just it. not I, all at once. I'm shedding a ton of fucking skin cells on my nose. I don't know what the fuck is going on with my nose. It's a little bit better now than it was this morning, but I had to take my two kids for their physicals. And did you go? Let's get physicals, physicals. I did not. Oh. <laughs> Missed opportunity. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> um, and uh, the doctor was uh, was running through like the list of things. She's like, "Is it this?" I was like, "No, it's not that." I've been told it was this thing, and it, yeah, it was. It's 
Ugh. It's not a sunburn. It looks like a fucking sunburn. Do you uh, get rate, a little cream on it? Do you get I, little... Well, I did put... So, what? nobody cares. <laughs> um, at one point, uh, the thing that was on my nose was diagnosed by a doctor as something, some sort of fungal infection. And she had me putting... He or she had me putting the equivalent was, was it, of was like your... Like... Caitlyn Jenner that prescribed you the, the stuff he, that he or she hold on <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, still not with done with Philly we're either. not there yet okay. yeah I was gonna, uh, yeah no I was gonna ask you a Philly question but then I got I don't know how I got off horribly off topic um, uh, and and so uh, cream I did put some of it was basically the equivalent of um, of like your athlete's foot cream and I was putting it on there and that's a dangerous to put near your eyes you don't want to put it near your eyes but I got it um, at a place that was on like the side of my nose and I did it too often and then I got a wicked fucking zit and it it was just it was terribly painful um, so, that's lovely so I am just dealing with the peeling skin on my nose now Back to Philly. Back to Philly. Oh, you had a question. Did you have a cheesesteak? I did at the park. At the park. And (laughs) the next morning I had (laughs) diarrhea. (laughs) Serves you right for having one at the park. That might have been a combination of the cheesesteak and the stuff that I ate later that evening and the shit ton of beer I drank. (laughs) Oh. Okay, so after the game, uh, I was intending on taking a cab. And I get out of there, and I'm like, even though there wasn't a shit ton of people, there weren't a lot of cabs around. Yeah. I'm like, you know, waving, like, they're not seeing me, and I'm like, god damn it. So I just, I'm like, well, I'm supposed to meet them. It was uh, it was Becky and her friends, because mm-hmm. she used to live down there. Did I mention that? No. Okay. She used to live down there, so she has friends down there. Yeah. And I was meeting them for dinner, and so I'm um, kind of... Like, ah, uh, it's like quarter of seven. I'm supposed to be there at seven. It's three and a half miles away. Yeah. Oh, but I'm no. like, I just started trekking towards there. I wasn't going to, but I'm like, I, I was doing like sort of a power a, walk, power walk for a bit because like it wasn't the best area. And the more I went towards where I was going, <laughs> it became less and less of a good area. Yeah. And so I started walking fast and just kind of jogging a bit and then kind of running a bit. <laughs> Not yeah. like, you know, for away from people, but, you know, just seem like, oh, I'm in a hurry. I'm running. You know? Right. Uh, and I was just going and going and going. And I'm like, I, like, I keep on being in this, like, these residential areas. And I'm like, where the fuck? How am I going to find a cab here? Right. And the the miracle of miracles, one came down the street. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no that... I think I made those sounds, too. <laughs> that but... noise, if I could transcribe that noise, that would be the show title. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> so uh, I'm like, oh, was, uh, you, you got the cab. Yeah, I got the cab, and it, it was Yusef. Yusef was the was the driver. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and so we, uh, he was like, "Oh, do you want to go on Route 70 something? Uh, 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 if you're in a hurry." And I'm like, no, mm. don't take me on a fucking joyride. Yeah, no. Just go down Broad Street. I know that <laughs> takes me exactly to where I need to be. Right. Just go down that fucking road for a while. I don't care if you hit every fucking light on the way. Yeah. Take that road and then take a left and then a right and then another left and then we're there. Yeah. And he's like, okay. He's like, like, oh, you, you know, sure you don't want... My, of course, I got my GPS out. I'm like, are you going a fucking shitty way? I'm yeah. Like, hey, maybe you should turn here. I think that... No. I never had to say it. He was going a decent right, way. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so yeah, I got there. I was probably about uh, ten minutes late, which wasn't that bad. Yeah. Got there, had some more beers because apparently, shit, I hadn't had enough. <laughs> I had a another sandwich. We well, had to wash down the aftertaste of that ballpark cheesesteak. That's. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the whiz too. I got the cheese oh. whiz. I didn't go to Pat's or Gino's. Yeah, but I did want to get a hoagie when I was down there because, like, you know, everybody's like, "God, oh, gotta get a fucking cheesesteak. They're fucking amazing." No, they're not. <laughs> but uh, but I have heard that, like, you know, their hoagie sandwiches are yeah uh, are, are good or pretty good. And I uh, I didn't get one, but uh, maybe next time. Now, for the listener who doesn't know what a hoagie is compared to a, a sub or a. It's, it's, it's it's a similar. It's I don't the same know, thing. like I don't know the exact like ingredients that go into making it a hoagie as opposed to a sub sandwich or a grinder or grinder. Navy beans, navy beans, <laughs> meatloaf sandwich. <laughs> 
Um, so what else did you eat? So you had a couple more beers, but what else did you eat that uh, uh, that ended up contributing to the diarrhea the next day? I was a spicy something. Oh, Steve. You know me and spicy. Steve. It wasn't even that spicy. And I doubt that, that was the contributing factor. I, I, I pretty much think it was probably the... the the amazing amount of beer I drank over the course of that day. <laughs> yeah, might have something to do with it. Yeah. And then you came back the next day or No, yeah, we yeah, we drove back that day and it was rainy and it was just a just a crummy ride back and Yeah. yeah. Well you'd had you'd we had made the, it. you'd had the shits. Yeah. You know. Well, you know, I I, I had the I luckily had the shits before we left and right, before right, I right. showered, got, so got it was taken, fine. got it taken care of. But uh yeah, it was it was uh and we watched uh we we got back and we just wanted to watch something that was just fun and yeah. mindless. So we ended up watching, which this is another movie that I had never watched in its entirety. Mm. But it was always like occasionally on FX or whatever. Right. Uh, it was Wild Wild West. Ah, uh, that is a uh, funny one. Wiki Wiki Wild Wild Will Smith. And and by funny, I don't mean, I mean, yeah, I guess it's funny. I guess it's all right. Yeah, I don't like it. The... Have you ever heard Kevin Smith's story about Wild Wild West? Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, it's, it's. I mean, on... it's really it's about Superman, but it ends up the punchline is about it being uh, Wild Wild West. Yes, yeah, so uh, I think that if you find if if you listen to the Wild Wild West episode of How Did This Get Made, mm. they talk um, about it. They talk, like they have Kevin Smith on. And oh, okay. he does he does tell the story? Yeah. So. I, I saw it one one of his I think it was his first uh, evening of uh, Kevin Smith. DVDs. I think he told that story. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty funny. Yeah. The 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 lengths to which that producer went to get a goddamn a spider, giant spider, <laughs> giant mechanical spider. But it was just I, I like there was just so much in that movie that it was just like like I don't know. There, there was like a, a, there was a lot of like jokes about cross dressing and yes. just like a lot of like I don't know if like they do it in movies as much, but mm. like a lot of just like gay jokes yeah yeah uh, it's you know it's funny but like it's like these these two people are straight but they keep on be being put in precarious situations where it seems like they're gay yeah i mean it, it's, it's funny to trend to, to chart the transition of that over the years it i mean all the i i saw as i was saying i watched armageddon today and and i think of that as being not a not a really recent movie, but not as it was far like late nineties. Right? It was it was ninety eight. Um, or no, sorry, uh, was it ninety eight? Yeah, yeah, ninety eight. Summer. Yeah, because because ninety wasn't ninety six. That was ID four. Yes. Yep. Uh, I think you're right. Um, but uh, so Armageddon was one of the was still one of those nineties movies where they have the the um the names the credits rolling over the opening sequence which they don't do anymore that's just for action movies the credits all happen after um uh after the movie now at this point uh but also like so like i, I just bring that up by way of, of bringing up exactly what you were saying and, and repeating and, and i'm repeating it now is is just that yeah when did the gay the sort of just gay jokes for the sake of throwing in the the gay jokes and the the cross-dressing and that kind of stuff when did that sort of tail off i don't know i, I don't know if it even has because i don't like see a lot of movies anymore mm. yeah and I, like the last movie i th- just saw was was it avengers i think it was avengers yeah yeah so i don't think there's a lot of gay jokes in there um i don't think there was any yeah no i don't think i don't think we had, had any of that um we should just write a movie that's just one big gay joke one big gay joke yeah, just call it one big gay joke. One big gay joke. The movie, and we'll get like all the people that are in all those shitty movies, the ones that are just like something movie. Something. Oh, so like uh, I can't remember anybody. I think Chris Pratt's wife. Uh, yeah, what's Anna, her name? Uh, Anna, Anna, Anna. Anna. Anna Ferris. Ferris yeah. 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 She. It was funny because like I, there was an interview with him uh, like early on in his career because they, they you know. They hooked up early on, and like, yeah. she was she was famous. She was in like you know Lost in Translation, yep. and you know all those shitty movies, and yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so she was famous, and he was just you know her her husband, and yeah. then he blew up. He did. He did. I've heard. I heard. A, uh, well, it's just a headline. It was a headline saying, dun, 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 dun. "They say you got a broken heart." I heard that. Anna Ferris actually liked Chris Pratt better when he was a little bit chubbier. 
And not just six pack abs. Not, not six pack. That she she kind of liked she her. She liked the dad bod. She liked the dad bod. See, it's I, apparently a, a true thing. I I've been trying to get rid of the dad bod. I I this week I started exercising. Well, again. Apparently, if you did you talk to your wife? Is she okay with the dad? I bod? think she it, she would be okay whatever way. My wife is awesome, and she understands um, either way. But I I did skip on a skip. I, I skipped on a scale. Um, I stepped on a scale for the first time uh, in in a four five months See, on Monday. Like what? I don't like doing that. I don't like doing it either. I'd rather uh, just like I don't know if I'm gonna work out, just work out and then like do my thing and and go by appearance as opposed to a number because the number is immaterial. Sure. Especially if you if you're like actually if you're working out and you're putting on muscle mass, you're gonna gain weight. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I I don't know why I did it because I tend to not like to, to do it myself, but I wanted a I wanted an idea. Um because I knew that I had gained, but I had no no idea how much. And I had gained like uh fifteen pounds since February. And so, and I was already heavier than I wanted to be back in February. So, you know, it just gave me a little inspiration to uh, to do it. But I know that if I stick with the dad bod, then my wife will be will be okay with it. If I if I somehow miraculously end up with a six pack, <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, she will be happy with that too. Um, but you you mentioned cross dressing. Oh yes, you well, mentioned we bring it back. <laughs> are, we, are we getting close to the wrap up time? We are. We are at fifty minutes and forty seconds. Ooh, so we can talk about uh, Bruce we, Jenner. We can talk Kate, about Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn whatever. Jenner. Are you, are you going to read the article? So uh, I'm not. I'm not going to read the whole article, but I did find. Uh, I saw versions of this article bouncing around a uh, a whole bunch this week uh, because the news media sucks. Uh, there was a great bit John Stewart did on. The Daily Show a couple nights ago. Uh, is he still doing it? When's the last show? It's I don't know. Sometime is it this summer or is it uh, is it later in the year? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so he did a great the the whole first half of the show was great. Um, it was uh, a good uh, bit on ISIS at the beginning. Uh, so he was very on point with that. But then the Caitlyn Jenner stuff was in the middle, and that was good. Uh, Anyway, there was this article uh, on Boing Boing, How to Talk About Caitlyn Jenner, A Guide to Speaking and Writing About Transgender People. And it's... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to read it. That, not, I, 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 that's why, the, I don't know. Like, if I, you can't talk honestly, like, say... I mean, if, if you're a human being, like, I am mm-hmm. okay with, with the fact that he wants to be a lady or she... Whatever the heck... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the heck she wants to do, yes, I'm I'm for right. I'm and I'm like you know, you know. She, I mean, I looked at the picture. She doesn't look half bad. Yeah, that's probably a lot of damn makeup. <laughs> a lot of damn makeup. There's probably some makeup. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, go for it. But I don't know. There are going to be people that aren't going to like it. They're going to find it. And if they can't express the fact that they don't like it, you know, I don't yeah. Know. What, what? What? But. What was actually was funny about the John Stewart bit is that a lot of people, a lot of people, were reacting po- relatively positively, but then they all spun it into a, and I think you were you were just uh, pretty respectful in the way that you said that, that she didn't look bad. Um, other people were talking about how hot she was, or or I would I would I would hit that, or like I they, wouldn't hit that. But. <laughs> um, but they were making it a very uh, a very sexual thing, and then talking about uh, the clothes and 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 whatnot. And so the John Stewart thing, I'll, I'll try to link it. It was uh, it, it was very very much worth watching. the 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 reason I like the Boing Boing, and I'm not going to read it, which is why I, I just wanted to, to paraphrase it. I wanted to explain. I wanted to explain to you what it was because when you were saying, "Are you going to read it?" I was like, "No, you don't want me to read this." It's, it's Are you just going to make me it's mad? A little, it's a little, no, no, just that it's it's dry. Oh, you okay. know, it, it's important, but it's dry. It's like ginger ale. Um, because uh, where was the um. Like that, transsexual is. I don't know old, if what I just said was a joke or not. I don't know. <laughs> I, I was looking at the article. <laughs> you said it's dry, and I'm like, so it's like ginger ale, <laughs> and I like I, it got nothing, and I'm like, was that a joke or I, am I no, just I making think a statement? That was a joke. I just didn't hear it. <laughs> no, no, I'm just I'm, I I got confused myself. Yeah. Um. 
so for instance, like uh, this is their description of transsexual uh, as re- as as compared to transgender. So transsexual is an older term that originated in the medical and psychological communities, still preferred by some people who have permanently changed or seek to change their bodies through medical interventions, including but not limited to hormones and or surgeries. Unlike transgender, transsexual is not an umbrella term. Many transgender people do not identify as transsexual and would prefer the word transgender. It is best to ask which term an individual prefers. If preferred, use an ad- use as an adjective: transsexual woman or transsexual man. I, um, you know, if if I'm if I'm around someone who is transgendered, yes. I'm not going to just like be like, hey. Let me just icebreaker here. What do you prefer to be called? I know. <laughs> like, I mean, it comes back to. I think you were. Say, I don't know if you said it to me, um, or it was in the car with somebody. Uh, but but it comes back to the general philosophy of like, just be be a decent human being and be decent. Like to other if I people. say like you know like why yeah uh, go on sorry if, if I like you know use a a male or female pronoun mm-hmm. to describe somebody or you know, like and you, she did this and be like, well, actually I prefer he. And then like, you know, if I continue to use she after that, then I'm the dick. Mm. But like that sort of interaction, I don't think is inappropriate. Right. I, I think, I think the fact that we're thinking about it, right. The fact that we're, we're actively uh, trying to do the right thing should, uh, should count for something. That's right. what I would say. Um, it, it, it was, it, this article was, was interesting to me just because, uh, um, you know, there were there were things that I did not necessarily, and I'm still not clear. I have to go back to it to understand. Like, I get transgender man and transgender woman confused. So, a transgender man is, is a um, female, a to female, male? female at birth, but identify and live uh, as a man. So, um, Chaz Bono, right? Yeah, I, I think so. Chaz, or she was she was Chastity Bono, and then yes, she so Ch- Chaz Bono. He. Is now Chaz, Chaz Bono. Bono. Yeah, the the part that 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 I'm still unclear about, right, is is that transition. And I don't know if I had a story um, or if it was. Oh, we were talking about a student story this past semester uh, where there was a a a switch flipped, um, where a character who was like trans- Ronma one half. <laughs> no, there was a character who identified as. Uh, I guess would be a a transgender woman. Um, and the character, as far as we could tell in the story, was referred to by male pronouns. And then when the character was intimate with someone, it, it was this really graceful switch uh, where you, you understood. Anyway, so the part that I get confused about is, so we're ta- if we're talking about Caitlyn Jenner and we're talking about Caitlyn Jenner's life before she was Caitlyn Jenner... Can we refer can we to say, her as Bruce Jenner because she can, was an Olympic yeah, if, athlete? Yeah, blah, like blah, blah. If we're referring to Bruce Jenner, can we refer to him? Him. Right? In the past tense. I, I think In, that's fine. That Yeah, I think you're right. But that's the part where I'm like, I, like, I think that's right, but I'm not 100% yeah, if we're, sure. Yeah, we're just say her now and just say him before. Right. Like, um, so, so they... Da, 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 they don't actually have an example of it here in the. Um, I would be willing to bet that Grammar Girl will uh, the podcast will have something to say about this. Um, but in the the lead of this article is Caitlyn Jenner, the woman formerly known as Bruce Jenner, right? So if we're talking about her now, we use uh, feminine pronouns. I know that, <laughs> but it's just when when looking back on it, I I, I heard a thing on NPR once that it was mm. just like they they they're on these. These college, these college campuses. Yes, you know, like the ones you work at, the one you work at. Yeah, I don't know. They just had like this orientation where it's like some people don't want to be known by either. By either, yeah, and and I, that's the problem in our in our language. We don't. We only have the two. Well, well we only technically have the two. we only have the two genders. Well, but there, I think. I might be wrong, but I think there is a um, a non gender pronoun in other uh, there there are non gender like pronouns you. in other languages. Hey, you non gender first person pronouns in oh, other okay. languages. Whereas what we end up with, uh, n- sorry, non gender first person singular pronouns. We have a non gender that first person. thing over there. <laughs> sorry, I don't think anybody. <laughs> 
right. You couldn't you couldn't let me go too long <laughs> without being slightly offensive. No. Um, at any rate, I I am um, I think it's really the fact that it's Caitlyn Jenner, the the woman formerly known as Bruce Jenner. Like Bruce Jenner, they're one of my favorite songs. She's not Prince. One of my favorite songs uh, is this was song. Little Red. By, no, <laughs> I was not talking about Prince. Oh. You were talking about Prince. Yeah, just now. <laughs> I just Sa- totally derailed you. <laughs> saving, ah! uh, saving, saving Ferris. Um, uh, Save Ferris. No, is it? Is, is it Save the Ferris? The ska band. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Save Ferris has a ba- uh, has a band has a song. Come on, Eileen. No, called Spam, and they... in the place there you live, <laughs> ham and pork. <laughs> Their song Spam references Bruce Jenner. Oh. Bruce Jenner was an important person in the lives of the generation, I think, just before us. And, uh, you know, represented uh, as an Olympic athlete. And now that sort as a, I think, a, a, is, is she 60 something? I don't know. Anyway, that, 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 that figure, that that person is, is taking up the, uh, See, the mantle for, for the, tr- transgendered community i think is a good thing because it's it's high profile and it's probably about time that we all got well, a little bit is, like, clearer. I, I like that you know that that she is being able to do i keep on overemphasizing <laughs> like i'm an ass because <laughs> i am <laughs> that, that that she's uh able to to be what she wants but i don't like the 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 monetizing it the the docudrama that they're gonna have out sure. there that's gonna be it's my understanding she did to... not get paid for the vanity fair thing so she just did she did that as a yeah but like the 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 document or the reality yeah, show that's gonna idea. come out afterwards i'm just, sure yeah it bugs me a bit i don't know I, i've never been a big fan of the reality tv no. at all except for the the one where they go to the pawn shop and that guy rips off everybody <laughs> <laughs> so even you have 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 your uh, your guilty reality. But show I don't pleasure. know that that one's on the History Channel. So occasionally they'll they'll, they'll oh if it's on the History Channel, inject that... a little bit like well this is a firearm from blah 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 blah. Right, and this is right. what this was used in such and such, and they get the expert in blah 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 blah. Yeah. I mean it's 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 like it, most reality shows not real. Yes, and but like I love like the the okay so it gets to a point where. The guy's like, well, so how much you want for it? And he's like, I'd like ten thousand dollars. He's like, I'll give you two grand, and then he'll try to talk it up, and then maybe get him up to like twenty five hundred. <laughs> and uh, and he's like, I kind of wanted ten grand, but I'm a compulsive gambler, and I live in Las Vegas, so <laughs> I figured I'd just get rid of this and then let, spend almost all of it immediately at the casino. But he, that's you know that's the subtext. That's not yeah. out loud. I think we're done. Okay, we got the email though. <laughs> we oh, we do got the email. We we had a few other things, but we'll, we'll we can either save them for next time or not not talk about them. Uh, <laughs> so we we did get an email uh, from, and let's just go ahead and say Ryan because we don't have. Uh, I hope I don't have to bleep, bleep that. Ryan did not say one way or the other. Um, Ryan, subject: the great communicator. <laughs> I don't remember why we were even talking about I presents. don't remember why either. But uh, but I do I actually do love the use of su- uh, of the subject line as the first part of the sentence in this email. So I must re- subject line is the great communicator, but the full sentence is the great communicator was Ronald Reagan, you dumb assholes. <laughs> I hope this is the 30th email you get piling on your ignorance. I How think... dare you not know all the monikers of America's greatest president? There was a question mark at the end of that sentence. <laughs> yes, there is. The greatest president? No, no. The way that, the way that he structured it, there's no ironic quotation marks oh, around okay. it. He is, I mean, he may be intending it that way, but there are no ironic <laughs> quotation marks. I was hoping that it was the greatest president. The greatest president? Uh, but, okay, so... I mean, uh, I, I like how he assumes that we get 30 emails. <laughs> <laughs> or yes. sometimes one. Cause sometimes one. There's a good chance if you write us an email, we'll say it on the air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a very good chance. Um, Watch yeah. that. We're going to get two next week. I did I did find it. I might, Did I put it in the show notes? It was last episode, and uh, I thought I put it in the show notes, but I also was like, I wonder if a listener is going to write in and tell us. Because immediately when I saw it, I was like, holy fuck. I fucking... I'm, I just finished watching 
speaking of the History Channel, uh, The Ultimate Guide to the Presidents, which I think came out in 2012, uh, just this maybe... This is Obama's second term? It, it was vaguely referencing Obama's second term, so it didn't have that many details. In fact, the last episode really skirts by the last four presidents. Uh, it does not... It, after it deals with Reagan, it just sort of... It's, you know, Bush, Clinton, Bush, um, and... Uh, Obama very quickly over a couple of topics. Um, so it's, uh, it, it kind of went past. Good old but anyway, Ronnie G. But I just, I was just watching that. So yes. Ronnie how, R. What am I saying? Why would I say Ronnie, Ronnie G. G? Ronnie G. Kenny G. Well, I think that's the end of the show. <laughs> oh, we should do plugs first, though. He does these impressions. You'd think it was the real people. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if you want to find show notes for the episode, uh, I will put them at clarkwoods.com slash hot slash four five forty five. Yeah. Uh, and if you want to find me on the Twitter, there's only <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> All right, Grandpa, I'll find you on the Twitter. At ECC1977. And I am at Tuesday is loser. That's Tuesday is loser. And of course, you don't want to forget to pick up your copy of the Apes Choice, which you can buy on Google Play, iTunes, or uh, yeah. I want to talk about uh, Amazon. Dan just told me how many copies have been sold, and I'm completely underwhelmed by how many you fucks have bought. So get out there, go onto iTunes, and buy the fucking record. Buy the record. It's a labor of love, for Christ's sake. Buy it. You heard Maybe the man. anger will work. <laughs> Maybe. I, being nice about it didn't. No. So, fuck support, you guys. Buy the fucking record. Support my fucking Patreon, too, while you're at it. Yeah, give give Chris some fucking money so he can <laughs> write some more shit. I mean, I'm not saying that it's shit. I'm just uh, saying. I, got a, I, got I a meant rege- shit as in stuff. I got a rejection today uh, from something I sent out yesterday. So If I could do an armpit fart, I would. <laughs> <laughs> but I also did get a request today through uh, through something on, on Twitter. So, so you know, you lose you lose a battle, you win one. Yeah, you know? lose one, you win one. Like, it's like, like good old know, Ronnie G. Yeah, old, old Ronnie Reagan. Ronnie R. Well... Chris, it's, that was the worst ever. 